This is Phil Johnson and Packet Tracer 5136. So it's going to be on uh, configuring router and stick inner VLAN routing. And let's go ahead and set up our network here. Well, the first thing we will do is we will go ahead and we will try to ping across the network here. So ping between PC1 and PC3. So we'll go on PC1, go over to command prompt. So I'm going to go ping 172.17.30.0. Right there. So it will not ping as it's set up right now. And if we do simulation mode, it will say the same thing. And let's go ahead and create a VLAN on our switch. Terminal, we're going to VLAN 10, we got VLAN 30, and let's go ahead and sign some uh, VLANs to the port. So we're going to go basically what exit right here, and we'll do we'll go ahead and go to interface FA. 0 slash 11 and we're going to go to switch port mode access and we're going to put switch port access VLAN 10 then we're also going to go to our VLAN 30 basically we don't have to directly go VM30 right off the bat. We can basically go to interface FA0 slash 6. And in here, we'll do the switch port mode access. Basically, the same command. And we'll go switch port access VLAN 30 this time. And that'll go ahead and configure that for VLAN 30. And now let's go ahead and exit all this. We can just press end. And then end, uh, after that we'll do show VLAN brief. And here you can see our VLANs right here. Now our next step, the VLANs would be in separate networks. Now we're going to create a sub-interface. And sub-interfaces only pretty much deal with routers. So we're going to go ahead and show our router here. So the sub-interface is almost like a VLAN and a router connects everything together. So we're going to go to interface G0 slash 0, and then we're going to do the sub-interface of 10. So that's what that dot 10 for. And then we'll do encapsulation dot 1 cube. Oh, actually, it's one thing I should do. I've got to do configure terminal first before you do any of that stuff. So interface G B0 slash 0 dot 10. And then we're going to do encapsulation here. Dot 1 Q 10. And here we go. Now we're going to put an IP address. You have to do an encapsulation first to use your IP address. It's going to be 172.17.10.1, the subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and go into our sub interface, uh, basically for our VLAN 30 now. And you can start typing it right here interface B0.0.30. And then we're going to do encapsulation here. Basically the same command, except for this time it's going to be 30 in the end. And let's go ahead and put our IP address in there now. And 
IP address is going to be dot 30 right here, and everything else is going to be pretty much the same there. And if we go to end, we can go to show IP interface free. And this shows us that we just set those up. So gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 with uh, basically VLAN 10, this is a sub network right there, uh, would be this IP address, and dot 30 would be that IP address right there. And everything is down right now, so we want to go ahead and bring it up. Turn it on, basically. Interface G0 slash 0. We're going to say no shutdown or no shut. And it changes state to up. And now we can go ahead and see it actually changed it between two of those sub networks right there. Turn change them to up. And they want us to ping between the computers again. So even with all that set up, it still shouldn't go through because we haven't set up our trunking yet. See, because it's delayed right here, it will not go through. It's going to time out. And it will continue over time. Continue the time out. So we'll go ahead and close that out. And our next step is to get into our switch. And the trunking will allow us to kind of like a gateway between uh, two different devices. So the trunking will allow that transition. Um, a gateway per se uh, between the two devices. So we're going to go ahead and configure that right now. So we're going to do interface G0 slash 1. See, we're making, inter we're making, making it so these two can communicate. So that's what we're aiming for here. So we're going to go into that interface and we're going to do switch port mode. And if you do do show VLAN, which I will do right now, you'll notice that that disappeared. There's no uh, gigabit Ethernet zero slash one because we did a trunk on it. So that's why it won't show. So, But if you do show interface trunk, you will see it in here. See, they actually show us the interfaces for trunking interfaces. And now, if we try to send a packet, I'm going to simulation mode here. We'll just make it full screen. You'll go ahead and see that everything does the same. So basically, everything does work. Yeah, everything goes through. And our tables had to be created, so it would actually reject that first one, and then it worked out that. So yeah, it will, it will come back. And that's everything for configuring our router on a fix.